take part in the retirement jersey ceremony for OJ. A lot of you have known him from growing up here. Some of you just met him in his later years. I'm gonna give you a brief biography of OJ. So those of you who knew him here when he was at Jordan, when I tell you what he's doing now, you can be like, what? That's OJ? And for those of you who know him now, we have some good stories coming your way. So, OJ. OJ attended Jordan from 1992 through 1996. He played football for four years and was the starting quarterback for three. He played varsity basketball and started all four years as a small forward. During his tenure at Jordan Athletics, he received many accolades. The honors included first team, all CIF in basketball and football from 1994 to 1996. First team, all more league in basketball and football, 1994 to 1996. All-State Honorable Mention in Basketball, 1995 and 96. Press Telegram, First Team Best in the West, Football and Basketball. Press Telegram, First, first Team Dream Team in Basketball, 1996. Nike All-American Camp Attendee, 1995. He also played in the 605 High School All-Star Football Game. Ortiz was part of the following Jordan Championship teams. Two-time CIF champ Division I AA basketball. Two-time Moore League champs in basketball. They were undefeated in 1993 and 1996. They never lost a basketball game in college gym. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> in 1995, Moore League champs in football being the last Jordan team to beat Polly in football. OJ did so well in high school in both sports, he received many scholarship offers. He had offers from all Power Five schools, including Arizona, USC, UCLA, Nebraska, Cincinnati, Syracuse, and Kansas. He received a dual scholarship to the University of Arizona to play basketball and football. He was a four-year starter at quarterback in football and earned freshman All-American honors. He was a two-year letterman in basketball in 1996 and 97, where the team won a national championship. After college, OJ went on to play two years in professional football in Canada before transitioning into becoming a businessman. OJ is the owner and operator of One Body Strength and Coordinate in Conditioning Fitness and Training Facility that he began in Phoenix but now resides in Long Beach. The Strength and Conditioning Facility was created to meet the needs of today's clients while providing one-on-one -on -one attention to set immediate goals based on progressive workout programs designed specifically for the needs of his clients. He specializes in weight loss, weight gain, toning, and strength building. One Body Strength and Conditioning was voted in the top 10 training companies in the Los Angeles and Orange County areas for the past eight years. In addition to his training facility in Long Beach, he does independent training and has worked with top level professional athletes in the NBA, such as Kevin Garnett, who's retired of the Minnesota Timberwolves, Jason Terry, who's retired, Miles Plumley of the Charlotte Hornets, He's also worked with NFL athletes, John Ross Jr. of the Kansas City Chiefs, Jeremy McNichols of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Ryan Pope. I got a word to make it quick so we get to the games and we get to the action. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, family. Uh, uh, my wife is here in Highland, in Highland. Raise your hand. My son, Junior. Ortiz, take my iPad down. Ortiz, stay high. There you go. My son. My mom is here, mom, again, raise your hand, my aunt, sure, and sure, that's a good one. Um, all my boys that support me came out, Seneca, Rob, that was here, was here, Wayne, my boy Howard, who will be forever, to me, my teammate, uh, people that are, are here, Mr. Collins, people don't understand that. Uh, at the time, when I was in the process of getting my scholarship, Mr. Collins had put me through a, a program called the Princeton Review, 
for the program that helped me study for the SAT, which was critical because I was struggling with, with getting past the SAT. So without that push, without that help and guidance to get there in college, it probably wouldn't have happened. I stressed my mom out completely all the way into the last second before we understood that I got accepted to the University of Arizona to play uh, football and basketball. So thank you, Mr. Collins, for that because that without that, it doesn't happen. Uh, to me, one of my best players, 20 yards, love you to death, won two Seattle champions, won one Seattle championship. I got two. You know, we all we got to be together. The uh, best shit we had, good times. Coach Ford, of course, um, my man, Coach Massey, that's, that's the whole reason why I, I became a man. Because not only did he keep me out the gym, he also made me sit on the bench while we played against Polly here at home. And we was losing, and we kept looking down at him. <laughs> and looking down at him and saying, just let, let him understand, it's because of you, stop being selfish, it's not about you, it's about the brand. Um, you gotta thank your teammates. You gotta thank my teammates. Uh, without your teammates, you are nothing. And without my teammates, uh, allow me to give me an opportunity to be great at times. Uh, we got a great run. Uh, those banners that are there, 92, 93, and 95, 96, is a, is a great honor to have my name up there twice. Um, I gotta thank, of course, George Student Body, the principal, the athlete, the director for putting this together, this beautiful and Keisha. Um, for making this happen. Uh, Chris and his staff, I know the staff, they came from Millican, they do a great job here, and it's going to be, I know we got big things coming. Uh, we're going to finish this real strong, we're going to make a splash, and the program is back in the right direction, which is great. Oz, Raw Senior, all my boys, people I've been around for a long period of time, so I thank all of you guys. Um, I hope I didn't forget nobody, if I did, uh, it's because I'm a little nervous up here, but um, again, I want to make sure that, you know, Coach Massey was, was the stellar of my whole, everything, the reason why I, I came here. Um, Big Mario Cleveland was my neighbor. He, he figured out he was a recruiting coordinator at the time. He was sure <laughs> out there, out uh, but it was a good time. Like I said, I don't want to hold anybody up. Uh, I appreciate everybody who came out. Um, I do have some stuff that I want to do for the community, for Jordan, for the program, for the basketball players and the football uh, team to be able to have a strip and conditioning program for inner city kids. You can come and get real training for free where it doesn't cost some of those parents who gotta give back and that's kind of where my direction is. So I'm working on that and I'll probably launch something right at the end of the summer. So without that being said, I'm thinking of sitting my boy John Ross, Jr., my guy, Junior, all the way up to my boyfriend, Thank you guys. All right, um, we're concluding our program.